He took the shank. While he was walking to go stab the man, he hear his name being called on the loudspeaker. But in America, he was known as a real gangster. My man Ali Clark, Allah yirhamma, Allah have mercy for him, American guy. You know Crips, Bloods and Crips from America? He was from, I believe, a Trade Gangster Crip, which was a gang in Los Angeles. When he was 13, 14 years old, he was around killings and murder. He was participated in murders. He got stabbed up through his body, shot multiple times. He was a hardcore gang member. 14, 15 years old, killing people like it's nothing. Kept going in and out of prison. Five years in prison, six years in prison. Eventually, he accepted Islam. When he accepted Islam, he still was in the street. So he eventually got arrested again. And while he was arrested, this time he had to do about five years in prison. Some OGs from his gang who had life in prison, they never come home. They came to him and said, one of the enemies just come into prison, they gave him a knife. Told him, the enemy is here, you have to go kill him. He knew that if he doesn't go kill him, his OGs gonna kill him. This time of his life, he was through with killing. He wanted to get closer to Islam. He said, so I didn't know what to do. I knew if I don't go kill this person, my OGs gonna harm me. He said, so I went, I did wudu. I did two rakahs, I put my face on the floor and I begged Allah. He said, oh Allah, you know that I don't want to kill anymore. Deep in my heart, I want to get closer to you. I want to learn Islam. I want to practice Islam. But Allah, if I don't do this, they're going to kill me. I have no other choice. He said, so after he finished praying, he took the knife. He took the shank. While he was walking to go stab the man, he hear his name being called on the loudspeakers. So now he thinks his OGs double-crossed him. He thinks the OGs told the police that he had a knife, so now he's gonna get more time in prison. So he said, I went, I hid the knife. When he went down to the correctional office, you know what they told him? They said, pack your bags, you're free to leave. We letting you out of prison today because of crowdingness in the prison and you had good behavior. He never, he's supposed to do three or four more years. He never expected this, but he had sincere dua. Allah knew that he was serious when he said he doesn't want to kill no more. He said, oh Allah, get me out of this situation. What did Allah, Allah took him out of the prison.